What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Phil 20. I'm back. Check this out. I've got a battery tester and it is a. Uh, Sorry for the shadow. It's a battery tester electronic load. Uh, ZKE. It uh, actually has a lot of features to it. I'm just demonstrating it without hooking it up directly to the laptop because it does connect to a laptop. It does have graphs, bar graphs and stuff like that that actually test your battery's capacity. Um, I'm not exactly sure how uh, much capacity it'll test. Right now I'm testing these batteries here that are the NICAD ED240 batteries. And if you look here, I've got this one connected here. I'm currently running about 12.71 amps through it. It's supposed to be able to do 20 amps. And I've just got it today and we're doing our simple tests. Uh, it'll test milliamp hours and it also tells milliwatt hours, which actually that's considered five watt hours right now. Uh, and this is uh, four amp hours. So, and I'm testing a 240 amp hour battery, so I'm hoping that it'll go up uh, past 100 amp hours. If it doesn't, then this is a huge fail. Uh, you know, to go up to 99 amp hours, or I guess I can, you know, put a camera on it and let, watch it re-roll. Uh, but it's been running for a few minutes, and uh, this battery has uh, been pretty weak, I'm assuming. And it's running, at, uh, you know, automatically. So I've got it, I think I've got it set to uh, pull the voltage down to point. 0.5 and 0.5 volts it actually has voltage test leads directly and uh, current test leads so if we zoom out a little bit here's our voltage test leads because they're small wires they only need to sense the voltage and the bigger wires which isn't very big at all is uh, for the amperage and so I got it connected directly to the battery terminals themselves and it's a pretty nice little device. It's not super big. It's it's uh, compact. It doesn't come with a box. It doesn't come with any paperwork. It's just, uh, you know, you get what you get. So it's, uh, you know, doing the job. And I wanted to put out this video. I'm still limping around. I really can't walk around. My daughter's helping me with this project she brought me the camera and uh, I apologize to you guys that uh, I don't have better content for today but you get to see what this device is like and uh, so far I really like it I'll let you know a little bit further after this test is done okay ladies and gentlemen you see uh, our amp hour tool it's not just milliamp hour it goes all the way up to amp hours uh, I've tested several batteries so far I'm gonna zoom out and you see this one I've got some tape holding on the label for this battery uh, so far this is the only battery that's got any amp hours that's even reasonable this one's got 65 amp hours its pH balance is 1.265 uh, so it's it's ready to get put inside the main banks because uh, I'm really sure that most of these batteries are dead it's not something that uh, is you know fixable but uh, you know it's they, there might be more that that's here that I might be able to work out and get some working again but most of these batteries are likely to uh, not work or not work at all very long. Uh, this one's got 65 amp hours and 
it's not been cycled it's been charged but it's not been cycled in a very long time so uh, what I might do is take some of these batteries here out like this one here and those two up there and one there I've got two up there those ones that appear to be leaking uh, is because I didn't glue these here and what I'll do is I'll test these amp hours uh, after I replace it with this I can do that today and see uh, how uh, how these are how these other ones are working after I disassembled and rebuilt them so, so long ago and then I can test the KOH as well make sure that it's all the same so this thing seems to be doing an excellent job right now we're testing this battery here uh, the battery this battery here right here is too low to be tested to voltage is 0.5 so it needs to be charged this one I haven't charged at all and I'm just testing it the way it is and that way I can get uh, <clears throat> a, me a, a measurement uh, I think uh, Ransom may have charged this one up back and forth and gotten it to do something. I'm not sure But uh, I'm gonna go through all of these and uh, Charge all the ones on the I've, I've charged all the ones on the top all the way to The second to the end so I've charged all of them all the way to where that uh, Clamp is on the end and if you can see that clamp all the way out there uh, I've charged all those with this uh, car charger um, so all those have been charged and now I have to uh, hook up connectors for this row to charge but um, luckily this one's already been charged apparently so um, and if it hasn't been it's been mostly charged I'm really sure it was a pretty high voltage that's why I decided to go ahead and go with it so and we're looking at already one amp hour. I've turned it on this morning and it's running. I don't know if you guys can see that. The display is really clear for me. Um, I don't know why it's not clear for you guys. Uh, I think it's because the black, the backlight is so bright with this thing, but it's okay. I'm not to worry about that at all. Yeah, I'm still trying to keep my feet up with the bunion neck to me, so. It's all right, no big deal. Just keep motivated, right? So uh, what I think the amps are, uh, the amps that uh, output this thing is kind of interesting. So it won't allow you to do too many amps if uh, the connection's not good. So I think what I'll have to do is get better wires, thicker wires and, uh, I'll put connectors that fit on the batteries and then screw it down so that that'll be uh, convenient for uh, testing all the batteries because I can screw it down from the inside post or the outside post it doesn't really matter but you know for what I'm doing it seems like it's doing an excellent job and I'm really really happy with this so far and, and it's been a long time coming it's a lot better than uh, trying to calculate how many hours this and that and this thing I've got it for 85 bucks I'm really happy with it I hope it lasts a long time if it doesn't well I might have to find a better one that's more expensive but uh, you can see I've got a piece of paper in between the battery terminals that it's sitting on so uh, I would like to have a piece of wood I might just start using like a piece of wood to sit my charger on it's probably a lot safer for it and now there's no worry about it getting shorted I didn't think about that look learning as we go right so I hope you guys liked the video we got two amp hours out of this thing so far and uh, the voltage is still kind of high on this battery so I hope it uh, does really good because uh, I've already got one battery I'm ready to move over. And if you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share, we'll see you next time. Hello, lazy to get gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up 
every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.